Hello, and welcome to our move-in day logistics for families for our new incoming class of 2020 at Seattle University. My name is Lori Prince. I'm the Director of Parent and Family Engagement, and I'm here with my colleague Tim Albert from Housing and Residence Life to walk you through some of the logistics of that Saturday, September 17th, when your students and you arrive to move into the residence halls. So what happens on move-in day? It's a pretty busy day. We know that. It's a big, exciting day for you and your students. Most of our incoming class will be resident students, so that's the day that all of their belongings will come to campus. Most of your students should have their housing assignment. If not, feel free to contact our Housing and Residence Life office. Your students have also received a move-in time at this point. So we ask that you wait until that particular time to come to campus or maybe a little bit after that. This really helps with our traffic flow and making sure we can help you in a timely manner. You'll note when you get here that there are lots of folks to help you unload the cars, student leaders who will be here, and taking things up to the student's room. To help us really move this along, we ask that once your car is unloaded, you really move that car quickly to an on-campus parking spot. All of our on-campus parking will be free that day, so please just find a space and that, that we can move other folks up to closer to the buildings to get them rolling. And again, we know this day is, is exciting and it might even seem a little chaotic with hundreds of folks here, but we ask for your patience and flexibilities to make it easier for everyone. What else is gonna happen on move-in day? Well, a number of offices are open to serve your students. If they need some help with the financial aid, our financial services desk will be open. The campus store will be there if they're looking to purchase books or SU swag. And our public safety office will be open if folks purchased a React mobile safety keychain during summer orientation. We also will have a major address from our president, Father Stephen Sunborg, to students and families. That happens at 3 o'clock, so we'd like everybody to be moved in by then and ready to hear from the president. And after that point, we're really going to ask families to leave campus so students can continue on with their orientation events and the start of Welcome Week. One of the things we'll have special for parents this year is a little extra TLC for you. My office and the Wellness and Health Promotion Office is going to be sponsoring free five-minute chair massages just for family members to help you with your stress on that day. We have a, an organization called Dream Clinic that actually has chair massages on campus every week. And one of the things you can do on that move-in day if you get a massage is to purchase a gift certificate for your students so that they can use that throughout the year. This is a great way to help them beat their stress as well. Hi, this is Tim. So you might wonder, you know, what are some of those things that we need to bring? The main thing I emphasize, you know, they need the basics. They need their sheets. I would recommend extra long for everyone because even if their bed isn't extra long this year, it will likely be next year. The vast majority of our beds at this point are extra long. Uh, you know, so they need their pillow, blankets, sheets, towels, and then the real basics like toothbrush, toothpaste, things like that. They also will need some laundry soap, things to clean, um, you know, and then in terms of organizers, they can use the 3M command strips. We do ask that you don't nail things into the walls, um, you know, but things that will help them, you know, they may also use the, you know, blue tape, maybe some under the bed storage, uh, all of those things are helpful. In terms of a computer, I would suggest that they get something that both has Ethernet connection and wireless, uh, just so that it gives them maximum flexibility wherever they are on campus. They'll probably need a few things like some basic cups and mugs and bowls. Um, for things that they might be doing in their rooms. Coffee makers and electric kettles are only allowed if they come with an automatic shut off. Um, if they're going to bring a bike, that they need to get a good bike lock, and you can look on the public safety page to get more information about that. Um, you know, things not to bring, basically, candles, oil lamps, um, electric cooking equipment, you know, things that burn halogen lamps, 
toaster ovens, and then no bed risers. That's something that we do ask that uh, you not bring. If a student needs to have their bed bunked, um, they may put in a request uh, a public, through our facilities department, a work order, and they'll get that done uh, very, very quickly. Okay, so a little bit about driving to Seattle University. Um, depending on which uh, uh, building you're going to, the main thing is if you're coming from, if you're driving um, from the north, you head on south, you head south on I-5 um, and take the James Street exit. Um, and then it really depends on exactly where you're going. If, uh, you know, mostly you want to go to 12th Avenue, um, and then you may be turning onto Marion Street, or you may be turning onto uh, Spring Street. Um, but do make sure as you drive that you're looking at the location of your drop off and not necessarily always the building's address. Okay, so a little bit about Campion. Campion is the one you definitely don't want to pay attention to its address. The address will take you to the back of the building. Um, so uh, uh, you can use the 914 East Jefferson um, for basic directions, but you'd want to use basically 11th and each, each chair, East Cherry as where you're trying to go. And then you'll come up Cherry, you'll turn on 11th Avenue, and that's at the Murphy Apartments Garage, and then you'll head on up um, towards Campion. Okay, Bellarmine, the main move-in, if this is for the primary move-in day, you're going to turn in on Marion Street, and then you'll go and park on the lower mall, and then you'll move your car as soon as you get everything unloaded. Uh, if you're coming in on an earlier day, you will go into the Bellarmine turnaround, which is on Columbia, but that is only for an early arrival. And for Xavier, uh, for all arrivals, you'll be coming in on Spring Street, um, right off of 12th Avenue. Um, should be very easy, quick unload. Okay, once your student has moved in and you've said your goodbyes, we wanna ask you to remind your students to do a few things to really get the most out of this transition time into the university. There are really quite a number of Welcome Week events that are here for them, both academic and social in nature, exploring the city and getting to know one another. And this is really the time when the university focuses on our new students and their transition to the university. So it is in their best interest to really attend all of those Welcome Week events. We have a Red Hawk Experience app, and the students will get the information about downloading that if they don't already have it. And that's where all of those events will be listed, time and location and all of that. So it's a really important way for them to be in touch with what's happening on campus. One of the things they'll need to do if they're living on campus is to complete that roommate agreement form very early on. This helps really start that relationship off on the right foot, and that's what we want for that living scenario. This is a time, again, where they can meet as many new people as possible. So even for students who feel like they're a little shy, we would encourage you to encourage them to really um, get out there and, and be with new folks in the variety of ways that we have events happening. And we know this is new to all of them, so asking questions is always a smart thing to do. As is typical of any time, no question is a bad question. And we really want them to have a good time and relax and begin their journey at Seattle University. So this is just a very quick way for you to get a sense of what's going to happen on that day. If you have more detailed questions that you need answered, obviously the main folks around housing are the Housing and Residence Life staff with their email here and phone number. Our orientation office coordinates the Welcome Week events and they'll be able to help you answer questions related to those. And if you have general questions as a parent, please feel free to contact me at Parent and Family Engagement. And we will be sending you a family weekend invitation and registration materials over the next few weeks. We hope you can return to campus in late October to see your students settled in as a new Red Hawk. Thanks to all of you and we look forward to seeing you on September 17th.